Impromptu. Impromptu 4. Begin. On the right-hand side, we have our empty score called placeholder for key step. We have carefully clicked the empty measure there, and we are showing that we can play notes but we can also with our controller play notes the difference is with the controller we can play chords All things at once. So that's kind of cool. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for the New Era, episode 12, Between the Lines. In today's episode, we re-entered with the idea of an illustration. An illustration, pictorially, is a single image that can imply an entire story. As an example, here's an image showing three kids in a kitchen. The oldest kid is holding a broom. There's a bunch of trash on the floor. The middle kid is looking surprised and the littlest kid is looking wary. There's a whole story. You look at this and it starts to tell or imply in the single snapshot image a story that's going on. So our feeling is that similarly Music, the use of a single composition, can imply an entire story. And that's what's caught our attention. So we spent some time uh, picking out two of our music videos to use for an upcoming uh, meeting that we're doing. And we picked the one called Illusion 2, Loss of Illusion, uh, which will imply clearing the mind. And we pick the second one, gain and awareness, which implies having completed our brainstorming meeting, we have new learning. So, But each of them are still snapshots in time. One is the snapshot kind of implying we've done a lot and we need to clear our minds. So that's the before and the after. And the second one implies we've gained a lot, which implies... We came at it with a fresh mind and we depart with new uh, learning. Next, we spent a bunch of time downloading some software that is available with our new keyboard, which is here. We uh, reset our camera, our second camera, to show us working on the keyboard at the same time that we work on the computer. Uh, and then we reconfirmed our ability to play and record from this device uh, into MuseScore for one thing and into Reaper. So we created um, a little impromptu here. We learned a uh, more ways to use uh, MuseScore input modes, which we weren't really aware of. We use something called real-time automatic note entry over here, which is what we came up with. And then this one is called Rhythm and Repitch Note Entry. And we can talk more about that later. But the coolest thing really about all of this is that our ability to noodle around on a physical uh, piano type keyboard, although it's really a MIDI controller, and record it. That is the, the, the more fluid system that is now available to us. We have a more fluid way. Adding keyboard, key step link, lets us noodle and edit more fluidly. But we still have to be rigorous about what scales and systems are working in and so forth. We then switched gears and went back to the animation we've been working on, the Perspective 3, and we decided to go ahead and add color. So we added color to the foreground actors and we added color to the background. And um, here's what that looks like.
So we re-recorded that. And then finally, uh, we had taken footage at a event. And so we've been going through this footage and, and numbering it and labeling it. For example, and then the kind of the fun part is we're thinking about adding music to it somehow. So if we off click the poly and just go to piano. If we're going to try to add music to this, and, and, and now we're just at the raw beginning, but we did take the time to go through and find a bunch of label all of our stuff like this. Kind of like the old silent movies. There's no sound that goes with this. So we can make up any sound we want. Um, here's a different scene. Uh, here's a, the region, the 3D region. Uh, then we have a bunch of dancers. We don't even know what to do here. Here's, here's some more dancers. You're going to have to make it up, you know. Then we have one of our favorites, this thing, which could be the Valkyries. I don't Anyway, however that goes. And then we have some frantic stuff like uh, this. But what we did with all this was we put it in order. Well, it's this is the order that we shot it, but we took the time to go back, keep it in that order, and label it into pieces that can be used. For example, you could do a, here's a transition. which takes you to the dance floor, medium, you know, like that. And obviously you need to snip it and glue it together. So that concludes today's episode. Um, our ideas for next time are to, uh, there's a tutorial available that shows us how to use our new Ableton Lite software to make loops and things. I mean, you don't have to just use piano. We can, we can do loops and things. And then uh, continue our 3D footage review and begin uh, making a video out of it. Uh, shout outs to Steady Worker and Silent Lurker who kept us going. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.